Broadway Entrepreneurship, created and hosted by Scott Knudsen, where we explore the crossroads between the Western lifestyle and business. Now, here's your host, Scott Knudsen. Hi, and welcome to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'm your host, Scott Knudsen. Thank you so much for joining us today on the day's show. Uh, we got a real fun show. I met these guys last year, and, and uh, man, it was just such a great relationship. They jumped in and helped support the Cowboy Entrepreneur Foundation. And man, I'll, I'll tell you what, just wonderful people. It's a wonderful company. Let me introduce you. Uh, we have Pat Driscoll. He is the uh, Certified Ag Group President, CEO. This was his brainchild. And we also have Peyton Valentine. She is a pro rodeo. And, and she's going to laugh at me because I was trying to say it, but I couldn't. Experimental manager. She manages everything for the group. And as we go into the show, you're going to see everything she does. And it's a lot. So, so Pat, Peyton, welcome to the show. Thanks for, Thanks having, for having us, Scott. Looking forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I, I guess let's start with how can people kind of find out what is involved with Agri? What's some social media platforms so they can go right from the start of the show? Go ahead, Peyton. This is all you. Yeah. Sure. So on our social media, they can find us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, either under the Certified Ag Group, Certified Ag Dealers, if they're wanting to keep up more with our dealer network. If they're in the market of a truck or just want to keep up with the rodeo team and all the what's happening, I would encourage them to check out the Ag Truck Trader platform. And then, of course, they can always go to our websites, um, and we'll list those, I believe, at the end of the episode on the screen so that listeners can see those directly. But um, agtrucktrader.com will basically get you there, and you can kind of navigate your way um, through through the website from that one. It's really cool. It's everything agriculture, so we, so we love it. So, Pat, let's talk a little bit about you to kind of get the show going. So, so you're an FFA vice president, you're a former soybean, I believe, um, you're award-winning, um, golly broadcaster, foreign broadcaster, uh, you were involved with NASCAR and now you started a, um, a big group to help agriculture. Well, well I got to do all that. Well, the, fir the first thing I've got to do is, is Peyton, Peyton said, you can navigate your way through these things. I'll kind of stumble my way through these things. <laughs> I'm a little bit more old school. You see the microphone sitting, I, microphone, pad of paper and a pencil. That's, that's my kind of school. Okay. God, so. It works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I, and I, and I do want to say right up front too, that uh, it, it takes an entire team to make this thing happen, to bring this thing to life. Peyton is, is such a critical part of that whole team yeah. as the experiential marketing manager that's and uh, See, there that's we go. why you win awards pat that's why you win <laughs> awards and everything else you know that's why i ride horses because you can say those words <laughs> you know it, it, it's the gift of gab and i thank my dad for that he was kind <laughs> enough to share that with me now it, this all started you may actually see hanging up over my shoulder over here uh is uh, that that is actually the poster uh, that was hanging in the lobby of the headquarters building at then fiat chrysler uh, when the God Made a Farmer Super Bowl commercial uh, right. aired. And it was a result of that commercial that launched this, this whole thing. And uh, uh, they, they put that commercial out. Uh, they had a little bit of a plan, but it needed to be a much bigger plan, as they quickly realized. And through a former life, you had mentioned these, these other things that I, uh, that I did uh, at the time through, the, through some of those former lives. Uh, mm -hmm. I had gotten to know several people uh, at what became Fiat Chrysler and, and uh, uh, had worked with them in the field. People like Dave Sowers, who is the head of Ram Commercial, uh, Carl, uh, Carl Lally, who uh, head of Ram Retail, um, Casey Herbis, who's now over at uh, Quicken Loans and Mortgage, uh, uh, and uh, just so many people. Uh, I turned into a very quick conversation about, holy cow, what did we do with that commercial? Uh, they had never had a response to anything like that and, and uh, created an opportunity to take all of these these different things from, you had mentioned soybeans. Yeah, I, I grew up hoeing soybeans, uh, milking cows, baling hay, uh, picking stones, all those things that a Midwestern farm kid does, uh, all the way up through uh, working with Furniture Row Racing and the NASCAR Cup Series, uh, Team Babbitts in the Arena Cross Motocross Series, and, and I did a rod team. Never wow. put down the agriculture banner, Scott. Everything that I ever did was, it always had agriculture at the forefront, but it had an opportunity to take all of these life's experiences uh, and put them to use for agriculture 
when Ram did the God Made a Farmer Super Bowl commercial, and, and that's where this all converged at one Amazing. point uh, into, uh, into this program that we could activate for farmers and ranchers through a mainstream business that could create a better experience for them and more awareness for them with a broader audience. I love that. I love that. I love so much that you lived in agriculture your whole life, no matter what kind of business venture, but you gave back by giving everyone in agriculture a chance to help their bottom dollar and their bottom line dollar, you know, and, and um, it's really cool what you created. Did well, you see that? Like when you were kind of coming through the process of all your different agricultural jobs and businesses to come up with something like that? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like you, you, you go to, you go to college, for this and you never do that yeah this is this yeah. is the same thing uh it uh you know i i believe that there's no wrong choices in in life maybe you, you know you, you make this choice you go this direction you make that choice you go the next direction uh and life is the series of experiences that ultimately lead you to something there's a bigger plan right there's 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 a bigger plan we don't know all we can do is follow the path the best of our ability and so Good. we follow that path, and ultimately that path led to that commercial in that moment. And the first FFA convention that I attended, I wasn't even an FFA member yet, but the first one I attended was in 1978 when Paul Harvey gave that God Made a Farmer address. Wow. And, and here, here it is full circle back to hearing it in a Ram commercial that's celebrating American farmers and ranchers, and there's an opportunity to help Ram do more with it than just that two minutes inside the Super Bowl. There's there's a way to take this and extend it into the future, which has now become something that we do with all the truck companies. Ah, so cool. It's so cool how you saw it at the FFA convention and it circled back. Yeah, I wish, Isn't it uh, funny how some things go like that if you just are, just kind of slow down just enough to notice it? Yeah, and, and I got to, uh, you know, there's so many backstories. You, you see you see the certified ag program and, and you right. see ag pack and you see all these things out in the in the public facing environment but there are so many stories as peyton knows that are on the back side of this thing uh that, that it's that look behind the curtain that most folks don't ever get but but just one of those little anecdotal things uh when when we originally were working with ram on creating this bigger impact uh, following that commercial uh some of the plans we had involved extending the god made a farmer uh message uh, and that involved working with Paul Harvey Jr. Uh, and and because he was in charge of the Paul Harvey estate, uh, and and Paul uh, said, you know, when we were when I was working with that uh, with Ram on that commercial, uh, he said I I insisted that they leave the audio unfiltered. So if you go back and you pull that commercial up and listen to it, you can actually hear people coughing. You can hear all of the auditorium noise in that old Kansas City auditorium. And if you've ever been to the, to the old FFA conventions, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All the noise that you would pick up in that auditorium because it was not an acoustically friendly building. <laughs> and, and you could you hear that in that Ram commercial. Uh, but, but, you know, just the way those things happen and come together. And here's Paul Harvey Jr. giving us the lowdown on that commercial. And how that came to be the life of the commercial itself and how they were going to filter all that auditorium noise out, but he insisted it be left in. And that only made it that much more authentic. That's awesome. What a great story. What a great, it makes me want to go listen to it again because it Do is it. such a good, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we can put that in our um, show notes, you know, so uh, <laughs> people watch, watch the show, they can go back real quick. Well, Peyton, let's talk about you. So you're a fifth generation uh, Texas rancher. And that's that's what we have similar. So am I. And I, I love that. And, you know, you went from cleaning pens and pulling cows to rodeo to even uh, marketing for, um, you know, the automotive industry. So I, I yeah. love that flow, how it's now back in agriculture. You know, it's easy back in agriculture, but we never left agriculture. You know, I'm a there fifth generation go. rancher. And definitely stay true to my roots because it's the only thing that I know. It's our lifestyle. It's our livelihood. Um, if I didn't have horses and cows and stuff I had to go take care of a couple times a day, I don't know what I would know what to do with myself. I don't know what I would do with the free time. Um, maybe the extra money that I would have laying around. But um, <laughs> no, I am. Um, my family, we I've grown up rodeoing my whole life. I run barrels. 
Um, in high school, you know, I ran barrels, poles. We did pretty much all of the speed events. Um, been very, very blessed in the performance force world. And um, like I said, still kind of run cow-calf operation. Um, the land that I have, it's been in our family for over over 100 years. And I purchased yeah. that back in 2016. We're in the process of clearing it out. So on the weekends when I'm not working, you can find me out there with a chainsaw or a hoe or on the tractor. And like I said, wear lots of hats around there, but love every minute of it. Even on the times, you know, time trials and tribulations like we all have in the agriculture community. Um, but it right. just makes all the all the high levels, you know, that much more meaningful. Absolutely. I, I love that. You know, there's nothing better than getting outside working in agriculture. I, I just love it, you know. And, and a lot of times, you know, I'll, I'll realize late at night, dang, I fed the horses twice and we forgot to eat. You know, it's just it's just it's just the industry, you know. What, what's it like, Pat, you know, creating something like this? And you've been around agriculture your whole life. And so it's Peyton. And then seeing somebody either from the business side, enjoy the business piece of it, or on the other side, the consumer side, enjoying that discount or being a part of something they can trust and really utilize. You know, it's, it, and, and I love that, that Peyton and, and our entire team uh, still has a foot in agriculture. I mean, the Driscoll family still farms in Northwest Iowa and, and uh, corn, soybeans, and hogs up there. Uh, I think that's a prerequisite for anybody that wants to um, have an ag enterprise yes. in, in Iowa anymore, corn, soybeans, and, and hogs. But, uh, uh, you know, as, uh, as, as somebody that's, that's had an opportunity, a lot like Peyton, uh, to, to maintain that agricultural foot while also exploring all these other, other professional channels, um, it, it can be really eye-opening uh, in, in terms of, I think, sometimes the, the closed world that we live in in agriculture. There's a lot of perspective out there that can be gained by living in these other worlds. But at the same time, I think the coolest part for me has been that I see it as an opportunity to take agriculture's mes message and share it with a whole lot of people that don't have a clue. For as much of a closed world as it can seem like we're in at times, the rest of the world is in a closed world as well when it comes to agriculture. And to be able to enlighten people, you know, that when, when we first built this program, Scott, the whole point of this program was to be an advocacy program. When, wow. when we first started this, it started uh, as a way to use agriculture, I'm sorry, to use truck dealers as an agricultural megaphone. Uh, when you go back and look at the original notes, the original designs for this plan, it was about training them at a very deep level on who agriculture is, not just as a customer, but as an important member of their community. We taught them and, and still do the language of agriculture. You know, what's the difference between a farmer and a rancher? The, you know, just some basic things yeah. about production systems and, and, and whatnot. So that as they engage non-farm members of their community, they get actually, because food always comes up in conversation somehow. And we were teaching them how to use that as the gateway into talking about the farmers and ranchers and their communities and what they contribute. This program at its heart was originally designed to be an advocacy program for the industry. Man, and I love it. Coolest thing for me. I, I love that so much. You know, all, all of us are generational in the business. And, you know, I think, you know, getting first time generation, you know, people in the industry, it's sometimes kind of scary, you know, for them. And, and we have a lot that watch our show. Thank goodness, you know, and they want to get in. That's why I'm so glad y'all are on. It's, it's kind of on ramp. You know, they, they can kind of learn a little, little bit about the industry. They follow you and then hopefully it leads to something, whether it's selling trucks or buying trucks, you know, or, or, or um, Starting a hog farm in the Midwest, you know, it gives them a start <laughs> point. <laughs> there's, probably, there's probably easier things you can do in agriculture. I just, <laughs> yeah, or a thousand more that are easy. <laughs> you know, yeah, Peyton was just talking about having more money uh, if, if, if you weren't doing this, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. So, so Peyton, let's talk about, you know, so we're, we're experiencing the agriculture industry, like those first generations. Um, when they see you or they see the pro rodeo team or everything that um, that group is doing, um, w what's some words of wisdom to them? Like maybe get into the industry or follow y'all and kind of let that be the stepping stone into the agriculture industry. 
Sure. So some of my favorite things about being able to work with this program, because in my opinion, it truly is a blessing. You know, they talk about if you find a job that you love, you don't work a day in your life. And you always kind of just roll your eyes and think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people are saying until you find a job that you truly do love. And I've been fortunate enough to do that with this program. And as a farmer and a rancher myself, you know, the things that I appreciate is that we can take those things from being in the ag community and bring them into all of these other aspects. You know, the automotive industry, we can bring them to all of our ag tech partners, but it's bringing that sense of authenticity, that genuineness, you know, that you get in the agriculture community. Because like Pat was talking about, you know, kind of behind those closed doors, it's a little bit different. You know, get into your normal retail, commercial businesses, and you're not going to do business on a handshake. You're not going to do something, you know, because you trust the guy next door, because, you know, you have that relationship. So being able to be in an industry where it's all about relationships and elevating each other, and Pat uses the terms, you know, rising tides a lot. And that's kind of a foundation of who we are at our core. You know, it's all about not only elevating us as a business, but elevating the entire agriculture community. And that's through our ag pack partners. That's through our certified ag dealers. And then that's a benefit to the farmers, ranchers, equine owners, you know, everybody that is associated in ag. So being able to be a part of something that really brings that full circle has meant a lot to me. Um, as far as words of wisdom, um, the thing that we kind of combat is a lot of times people think what we offer is too good to be true. They think that there's a catch because, like I said, going back to these other commercial businesses, you know, they're not used to people doing things just because it's the right thing to do. So then yeah. whenever they come to our door, they're like, wait, is this real? Like, who's <laughs> here, you know, and and the fact of the matter is it's not too good to be true. This is the real deal. And we're just out here trying to make a difference. Yeah, I, I love it. And make a good difference for the agriculture industry. And, you know, sometimes it's so fragmented or it feels that you just kind of brought it all together, you know, and you made it so easy um, for people to uh, utilize and, and access. And it does seem like it's too good to be true. I talk about you all the time. They're like, really? It, I say, go to the site, you know, and the numbers are real. And, and uh, it, it's really a cool deal. I, I'm watching the clock because I knew I'd talk over and uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come right back and talk to uh, Pat and Payne about all the different umbrellas underneath um, the certified group, you know, and also about their rodeo team. So we'll be right back on the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Thank you for listening to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Scott will be right back with more. For more information on Scott Knudsen, the Cowboy Entrepreneur, visit us online at cowboyentrepreneur.com. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'd like to talk to you about something I'm very passionate about. Those that know me know I love my coffee. In the morning, afternoon, and even late in the evening, I enjoy a good cup of coffee almost any time of the day. Now, my team at the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show has been working for several months on creating and introducing our own brand of coffee. We wanted to make sure that we got it just right. We don't want to put our name on anything unless we're 100% certain that it's the best product available, and we've finally done it. We have created a wonderful line of coffees. You can order these coffees today by going online to javacowboy.com. That's javacowboy.com. Now, each of our coffees carries our brand, the very same brand that we put on our horses, our trailers, and our chaps. So you know that this is a quality product. And we only use 100% Arabica beans, the very best beans available. Just go to javacowboy.com to order your coffee today. This is Positive Times, brought to you by American Hat Company, where true stories of optimism shine bright. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I want to talk to you about our Positive Times segment brought to you by American Hat Company. Pat Driscoll is the founder, CEO, and president of Ag Group, a company that is revolutionizing the agriculture industry. They're doing amazing things for farmers and ranchers, making it simple and easy for them to get the equipment they need now to get the job done. Saving farmers and ranchers money, it's wonderful. Thank you, the Certified Ag Group. Thank you, American Hat Company, for sponsoring Positive Times. This has been Positive Times. Brought to you by American Hat Company, where true stories of optimism shine bright. Visit AmericanHat.net to discover our finest hats. Positive times, because every moment deserves a story.
Hi, welcome back to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'm here with Pat. Pat is the uh, Ag Group President and CEO, the founder of this great organization, and Peyton, and she is a pro rodeo manager. And uh, Pat, let's start with you. Um, so there's six, um, so I guess, sub umbrellas underneath the Ag Group that you created. Would you mind just kind of going over those for the viewer? Yeah, absolutely. And and Peyton, I think we'll just go ahead and mouse back and forth here. But Heck yeah. it, all, it all started uh, kind of going back to the previous conversation that we had. It all started with that Super Bowl commercial, the advocacy component to this and whatnot. And and we created the Certified Agriculture Dealership Program. That's the first uh, brand that you'll see under the Ag Group umbrella. And, and what Certified Ag Dealership Program is, is it's a training uh, component to our to our program. Uh, that the dealership has to have at least one person each from sales, parts, and service to go through our proprietary training program, which, by the way, was peer-reviewed uh, and endorsed um, by Ag in the Classroom. Uh, and uh, and by having one each from, from that store go through this, no matter where the farm or ranch customer touches that store, there's always a go-to Ag person, an Ag specialist there for them to interact with, right? Um, because we, we know from the research that the second most important thing to the farm and ranch customer when they're buying a truck is a knowledgeable dealership. They they want the truck experience to be more like the tractor purchase experience or the implement or feed or seed or whatever it may be. Uh, so that's what we try and create is we try and create that agriculturally knowledgeable dealer. Uh, those three go through and they become a certified agriculture dealer at that at that point. We do have some extended training as well uh, that, that they take part in. Uh, we have a weekly agriculture intelligence report that we share with all of our ag specialists nationwide. It's basically the highlights of the headlines of agriculture that we, with an editor's take, where we convert what that story means to those local dealers. We help them understand. So it's a process of ongoing that they have every week uh, through through the program. And then, Peyton, um, maybe uh, you could run them through AgPAC. That's kind of the next brand okay. in, under the umbrella. Yeah, so AgPAC is going to be more, you know, for our customers. It's going to be a bundle of rebate, savings, coupons, discounts, things like that from, I believe we have, what, 19 AgPAC partners now, Pat? Um, and they're all we 21. Oh, I I'm so old and just Yeah, so, cool. so obviously we're growing all the time. Um, we do a couple of different announcements, you know, every year where we add new partners. So this program is constantly growing, constantly expanding. Um, but with those AgPAC partners, the thing that we ask of them is give us an exclusive offer, some type of deal that these customers can't find other places. So they're not going to go online. They're not going to have a promo code that's going to get them these same offers and deals. And then we bundle all of these together. So AgPack is anything from Michelin tires to lubrication, fertilizer, um, truck beds, you know, hitch pins. We have all sorts of a kind of a broad spectrum of these agriculture products. And Scott, these are products that farmers and ranchers are using every day, day every in day. and day out from the farmer ranch anyway. They're already having to buy it. The big difference is we give them a discount just because they purchased their truck from a dealer that's in our program versus a dealer that's not. So we already know that tool that trucks are tools for farmers and ranchers. You know, we have right. to have them. We have to get our livestock from point A to point B. We have to go get tools when the tractor breaks down. You know, we have to haul things. So we have to have these trucks. We already need them. This is giving you a true return on your investment with those trucks. Right. On top of a discount, right, for getting the truck. And, yeah. and, and, a bit, well, and a better shopping experience, you know, because whenever yeah. I go look for a truck or something, I want somebody to understand that I drive on, you know, several miles of red granite road and in the pasture, I want them to understand that experience. So <laughs> it's good you have that. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting, Scott, because uh, while you look at our at our most recent campaign uh, that, that we've had out there and uh, it's actually a series. Uh, but but uh, just to give you an example, one in the series is do you buy your cattle vaccines from Walgreens? Well, then why would you buy your farm truck from a minivan sales guy? Uh, to, to your Absolutely. point, yeah. you, you want to work. With, it, it is the truth. 
Yeah. And, and, and again, I'll go back to research real quick. And, and we know this. I mean, Peyton knows this and, and, and because we're all farmers and ranchers, too. Uh, there are three things that rise to the surface as most important when we're deciding what brand to buy or what dealer to buy from most important thing to us is durability. Obviously, the product mm-hmm. truck has got to be able to hold up to whatever we're dishing. But the second most important thing is working with an agriculturally knowledgeable dealer, like the tractor dealer, the implement dealer, and so on. Uh, and the third most important thing is the return on investment that mm-hmm. Peyton was just talking about. So uh, so that's, that's what we try and do is we pr- try and put checks in all those boxes. And Scott, we are the only agriculture program in the entire automotive industry. The only way you get this experience is by working with one of the certified agriculture dealers uh, that you can find, which, which kind of leads us to the, the next uh, thing, uh, you know, the yeah. next brand under our un, uh, umbrella. Uh, and that's, uh, uh, that's Ag Truck Trader. And, and uh, Peyton, I'm, I'm going to let you run with Ag Truck Trader. Oh, tell, so them, tell them about AGTT. Tell them, Peyton. Yeah, so we talk about our certified <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, customers can, you know, browse inventory at our certified ag dealers. But sometimes, you know, if you're like me, you like to do it from the convenience. Or if you're a farmer or rancher, you might not get into the house during business hours to go to that dealership and browse for your trucks. So we try to create an online platform where customers can go on there. It's a one shot stop. They can browse whatever OEMs we're working with, like Pat mentioned earlier, we work with Ford, Ram, GM, Chevy, Toyota. We work with all of them. They have a truck, you know. And so they can browse all these different brands. They can put in whether they're looking for a 1500, you know, up to a heavy duty commercial size, um, you know, 45, 5500 truck. And they can browse this inventory. They can register for their ag tech. So like I said, it's kind of a one shop stop on our online platform. And all of those trucks that are listed on there are all from certified agriculture dealerships. So it's not going to be from dealers that are outside of our network. And every vehicle that is listed on agtrucktrader.com is all going to be ag tech eligible. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. You know, if if it's listed on the website, you know you're going to be getting your ag tech benefits and you know you're going to be working with a dealer that understands your needs. And I can yeah. tell you that I we were just on a call today, and we're right at the edge of breaking thirteen thousand trucks um, wow. listed on the site uh, right now. So, so the numbers are growing, and and again, like Peyton said, it's all ag dealers on the site. Our uh, agtrader dot com is very different than other trader dot coms. Um, to her point, we designed it so that. You don't have to scrape the internet looking for a certified ag dealer or an ag bag eligible truck. It's all in one spot right there. Well, I love that because, you know, we're so busy. You know, all of us, life is busy, but in agriculture, it's even, it seems busier. So you made it so simple. You just go there, you find it, and you're connected. Yeah. And yeah. I, oh, and I, I love that. Whenever we say truck, we are talking trucks and full frame SUVs, and it's new or pre owned. So well, we kind of have yeah. a little something for everybody that's so great it, it's so great yeah. I, I love following y'all because um i see the new the new leaderships that pop up you know and i'm thinking that's so cool and i really like the part about having somebody in agriculture and he's, i didn't know it was every department that's really cool as well yeah. so they understand you know absolutely yeah, yeah. Well, and then scott as we as we keep rolling along uh because yeah. i know you got a time limit and i'm an old radio guy so i'll keep talking <laughs> as long as i possibly yeah. can but if if I know there's a if there's a stop, we're gonna Ooh. we're gonna shoot for that target, buddy. We gotta hit uh, the target, or my producer, you know, he'll he'll. <laughs> so so ag rally is is the next uh, is the next piece of the puzzle. Uh, ag rally is is our event. So uh, the way we kind of frame it up, ag rally always takes place on National Ag Day, which is the third Tuesday of March every year. And the way we frame it up is that because of where National Ag Day falls, it's kind of like agriculture's new year. Uh, You've got the first seeds of the season going into the ground down south. You've got calves dropping all over the country. Everything that's happening in agriculture is really starting to spin up right there in that that time period in March. And so it feels kind of like the new year for agriculture, and ag rally's the party. We're the Dick Clark's rocking New Year's Eve of uh, of the agriculture New Year, 
And 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 I joke about that, but it, that's really what we've built here with with Ag Rally is we we don't have a centralized event; we have a decentralized event. So farmers and ranchers can attend Ag Rally by going to their nearest certified agriculture dealer that's hosting a micro farm show, an Ag Rally host site, and we've got dozens of those going on all over the country at the exact same time on National Ag Day. Then we've got the national broadcast that brings it all together. So we've got remote cameras at several of these locations, just like on New Year's. You know, you got a camera in Key West, you've got one in LA, you got one in Chicago and New York. Oh, we've got cameras in all of our hot spots, like Modesto, California, and Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, and Lake Wales, Florida. And we we bring those cameras in while we're doing our thing live for four hours on RFD TV and the Cowboy Channel. We've got live field demonstrations this year. We had a cow dog uh, demonstration. We had a truck durability demonstration. We had a soil compaction demonstration on the famous King Ranch. Uh, and and then we had an hour long. We have our entertainment too. We had an hour long concert with Easton Corbin, an old farm kid right. from Florida. Uh, so we we literally had the Dick Parks Rock and New Year's Eve ag- of agriculture going on. The numbers are still being tallied up, but I can share with you that it looks like this year we broke 30 percent of American agriculture being touched by Ag Rally in one day. So- through the event. That's so good. Congratulations to both of y'all. And y'all were so kind to invite me and my family up there for the, for the weekend and, or for the event. And it really was, it was, well, y'all are, everybody in the, in, 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 um, the certified ag group is just like family. They're just so wonderful. But being there at RFD and Cowboy Channel and Easton Corbin, just the rodeo team, it, it was like Dick Clark's, you know, rocking the years because it is for agriculture. And I love how you keep it fun and, but it's, it's our business, but you keep it fun and you just keep, um, y'all keep putting people together. And it was really neat to watch all the different locations. You know, for me, I understand South Texas, but it was neat to see some of the other locations and it brought the community together. Hey, you got to see out of the um, out of the Florida location, a citrus uh, uh, grower yeah. and leader and, and a blueberry. I believe that yeah. you know, we had a blueberry grower on from Florida. And, uh, you know, uh, we had uh, we had uh, cattle represented from the uh, Colorado camera location. Yeah, it's just you're seeing how folks all over the country from all different kinds of agriculture are celebrating their new year. It's, it, it's a lot of fun. That's so awesome. So great. Well, well, Peyton, um, you want to talk a little bit about the rodeo team because um, they were there as well at the Ag Rally, and, and it's um, such a great team. Yeah, so um, late last year, we decided to kind of put a rodeo team together, and um, I don't like to call it a sponsorship because it's not. It's a partnership. It truly is a relationship. And, um, you know, when we were looking at the athlete, you know, Leighton Berry, he is our team captain, number one in the world right now. Really proud of him. But um, he was obviously the first one that we brought on as team captain. And we all kind of put our heads together. And we were really, really selective about who we chose to be on our team. And we did that intentionally. Um, Of course, you know, we looked at what they do in the arena. We have three past Rookie of the Years. Um, All of our team has been to national finals as qualifiers, most of them multiple times. So, I mean, we could talk about their accolades all day long. They've already proven themselves in the arena. But we also looked at what do they do outside of the arena? Who are they as a person, individual? Do they align with our morals and our values? Are they going to represent all of our dealers and our ag pack partners in the way that we want them to. And um, I'd have to say, Scott, I am extremely proud of the team that we have put together. Um, right. They are just rock stars. And, you know, it's, it's reassuring to me to be able to work for a company and to be able to put a team together where we can have our faith kind of as the foundation of everything. You know, mm-hmm. there's not a lot of opportunities for that. It. And that's core of our foundation is, you know, our faith and our beliefs and our morals and just doing the right things for the right reasons. And um, each of our team members, they they do that day in and day out, on top of being these amazing professional athletes. And, you know, most of them also have a tie to the agriculture community. You know, Clayton mm-hmm. Sellers, his late ranches, and they do um, some stuff in the timber industry. Uh, Leighton, they've got some cattle there in Weatherford. Jordan Joe, they have, you know, hay. I know so they all have their own ties into agriculture. So for them to be able to be a microphone to all of their fans 
and to be telling the story about AgPAC, about these offerings and all of these special things, it's, it's pretty cool to see and those testimonials. I, I love that. You know, um, in the Western industry, you kind of ride for the brand. And um, it was fun talking to the team. And, you know, I had breakfast with Clayton and talked to all the others, you know, throughout the night. And every time they brought up, you know, y'all and, and the ag group, you could just see their face kind of light up. And they were proud about it. You know, they were having a good time, but they were proud about um, making sure they represented y'all in the right way. So I thought that was really neat. It tells a lot. But, you know, I was talking to them and they were just, you know, talking about that group and just being there for that event and Easton Corbin singing and they're all sitting there together. But in between the breaks for TV, you could see them just talking to everyone. You know, they were really just um, they were there for y'all. And that was really special to watch, you well, know, and. We we like but to brag I, a little bit that that we don't just have the best athletes we have the best people in rodeo absolutely as, good human it, beings yeah good that's human right. beings and and I'll I'll share this um I and I shared this with Clayton while we were having dinner that the night after Ag Rally um we're we're actually uh, working with with one of the truck companies to to try and get uh, these athletes into uh, into new trucks uh, awesome. and the truck company vetted our entire team which I didn't know until just ahead of, of Ag Rally. But this truck company vetted the entire team, looked at all of these athletes, which is a deep dive into who they are. And the truck company came back and said, you couldn't have picked better people to be on your team. Wow. If wow. we wouldn't be affiliated with anybody, we would have picked the same people. How great so is that? That was uh, that was really cool. And, and you can tell Clayton was just, he was taken aback by that. He, he was like, wow. So, uh, you know, I said, that that's not something somebody gave you. That's something you yeah. guys earned, Clayton. That's Good right. You guys. That's just a, a, a strong statement, you know, yeah. strong statement. Well, I, I, I love ending the second session on that because um, they they are, you know, like you said at the beginning, it just rises. Every, everything just gets better, you know, and having a team like that carrying your brand and riding for y'all and you're doing what you do for agriculture. It's, it's a perfect deal. Uh, for sure. So we're going to take a quick break, come right back. We're going to talk about some of the vendors, how you find those vendors and kind of walk through the customer experience so you can see what we're talking about. We're going to give you the links again so you can look them up and follow them. And we'll be right back on the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Thank you for listening to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Scott will be right back with more. For more information on Scott Knudsen, the Cowboy Entrepreneur, visit us online at cowboyentrepreneur.com. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'd like to talk to you about something I'm very passionate about. Those that know me know I love my coffee. In the morning, afternoon, and even late in the evening, I enjoy a good cup of coffee almost any time of the day. Now, my team at the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show has been working for several months on creating and introducing our own brand of coffee. We wanted to make sure that we got it just right. We don't want to put our name on anything unless we're 100% certain that it's the best product available, and we've finally done it. We have created a wonderful line of coffees. You can order these coffees today by going online to javacowboy.com. That's javacowboy.com. Now, each of our coffees carries our brand, the very same brand that we put on our horses, our trailers, and our chaps. So you know that this is a quality product. And we only use 100% Arabica beans, the very best beans available. Just go to javacowboy.com to order your coffee today. This is Positive Times, brought to you by American Hat Company, where true stories of optimism shine bright. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I want to talk to you about our Positive Times segment brought to you by American Hat Company. Pat Driscoll is the founder, CEO, and president of Ag Group, a company that is revolutionizing the agriculture industry. They're doing amazing things for farmers and ranchers, making it simple and easy for them to get the equipment they need now to get the job done. Saving farmers and ranchers money, it's wonderful. Thank you, the Certified Ag Group. Thank you, American Hat Company, for sponsoring Positive Times. This has been Positive Times. Brought to you by American Hat Company, where true stories of optimism shine bright. Visit AmericanHat.net to discover our finest hats. Positive times, because every moment deserves a story. Hi, welcome back to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'm your host, Scott Knudsen, here with Pat and Peyton with the Ag Group and uh, the Certified Ag Group. So. Pat, would you mind starting this off and maybe Peyton can help a little bit about the customer experience um, for maybe it's a first time person who watched our show 
wants to go to your site and kind of walk them through the steps? You bet. So uh, w- again, just like everything else we do, Scott, we try and make it as easy as possible for everybody. So uh, agtrucktrader.com, getagpack.com, certifiedagdealer.com. You can go to any one of those websites. It's very fluid. Uh, it'll, it'll all lead basically to the same point that tells our whole story beginning to end. But the best way to engage the program, if you're actually in the process now of looking for a truck, uh, you can you can find the truck there that you want. You can get your AgPAC ID number right there. That AgPAC ID number goes wherever you go, any certified ag dealer in the country, and it's good on any of the product that you're going to see on that website. So get your AgPAC ID number there. It doesn't cost anything. AgPAC's free. So you register for that number. You're actually going to get a phone call right away. Uh, just following up saying, hey, we saw you got an Ag- AgPAC ID number. Are there any questions we can answer for you? Is there anything that we can do to help you out with the process? Uh, you find the truck you need. You do your deal. Do the best deal you can with, with a certified ag dealer. Give them that AgPAC ID number. They're going to punch you into the system, and that comes back to us. They're going to get a personal phone call. And, Scott, we designed the system this way very intentionally. As you know, agriculture is a personal business. It's a relationship business. We want this program to reflect that. So when somebody gets entered into the system, they're going to get a phone call from a real live human being that is an agriculturally based uh, person who not only uh, is is here in the state, but they understand the agricultural industry. Uh, and that's going to really help because they understand the seasonality. You, you may not need fertilizer right now. So as part of the first phone call that you get, not only are they going to help you redeem whatever you need that day out of the Ag Pack bundle, they're going to set up a call schedule with you. You're going to have an ownership in the follow-up calls uh, where you can say, I'm going to be purchasing my fertilizer at this time, or I'm probably going to be needing lubricants at this time. Could you call me back and remind me? So you can actually lean on your Ag Pack Redemption Specialist to help you remember that you have these offers and to remind you at the times when you anticipate needing uh, those particular products in your operations process. So again, it's it's really designed to to be something that you can lean on as as a tool uh, in in your process of running your your farm or ranch business. Now those those backpack benefits can be redeemed for up to twelve months, some of them even right. longer. And and so you you name the times you want callbacks throughout the course of the next 12 months, and then you can forget. And then you're going to get a friendly uh, reminder call from that person, real time. You know, this world's full of automation. It's full of, 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 you know, switch this button and pull that lever. We're tired of that. We we want to talk to real people, human beings. And so that's what this process is all about. That's what the customer experience is. It's it's a human-based experience all the way through, not just the purchase cycle, but the whole truck ownership. Right. Oh, I love that so much, you know, and I want to, I want to work with dealers that understand what we do. We talked about a little bit earlier and support our industry, but also, you know, you buy something sometimes, or I do, and I forget about all the benefits and the reason why I bought something, you know, and I'm like, golly, why did I do that? You know, but with y'all, when you call and follow up, it's a great reminder, hey, save some more money. You might want to do this. And I I think that's so great, especially the personal touch. It, it, yeah. It's really important. It was important to us, Scott. Um, you know, again, as farmers ourselves, uh, we we respected that and appreciated it when we could find it, and we we wanted this program to reflect that as well. Right. Well, Peyton, uh, when when um, what, what's one of your you, you know maybe one of your newer companies that's just come on, you know, and how do vendors? Let's talk about your vendors. Maybe some of the new ones, or if you want to be a new vendor um, with your company, how does somebody kind of onboard with y'all? Yeah, and Pat, once again, we can kind of bounce back and forth if you want to on this Please, one. Yeah. But two of our newer programs are our CAD, um, CAD Fi, which is our financing option. So people can actually go onto the website like Pat was talking about. They can get pre-qualified. And then what that's going to do that's different than their typical financing that they would get on a truck is it offers flexible payment terms. So for me, for example, you know, having a cow-calf operation, I'm sure not making a check off those cows every day. I'm not making it every month. You know, I'm getting it twice a year when you sell your calves. So being able to have flexible payment structures that align with the cash flow of your operation 
is really important to the ad community. And you can only do that through the CAD financing and you can only get the CAD buy through a certified ag dealer. Um, and one of our other new kind of partners that we work with now is going to be more of our warranty. And Pat, I'll let you kind of jump in and talk about them a little bit. Sure. You know, if, if you're if you're a grower, um, whether it's a, a plant-based grow or, or something that stands on legs that you're growing, uh, you, you may have bought a service contract on your trucks in the past. And then unfortunately, you find that somewhere in the fine print, it says you're excluded from coverage if the truck's being used for agricultural purposes. That's mm. actually what most of the service contracts out there have, and you don't find out until you need it. Uh, we, along the same lines as CADFI, identified that there was a need for service contracts that help farmers and ranchers offset that liability. And so we worked with the folks at ProGuard Warranty and created CAD Protect. Uh, and and it, instead of being excluded, Scott, there's now a service contract that's available only through certified agriculture dealers. There is a service contract that has been written to cater to, not exclude, but that. cater Love to that. farmers and ranchers. So now you can buy an extended service contract for that truck, and it's on new trucks as well as used trucks. You can buy a service contract to protect that that's thing, great. no matter how much beat the snot out of it, which we yeah. all do on our own farms and ranches. Woo! Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, for me, it makes sense. You know, if you're a dealership, you'd want to have this program. For one, you know, you want to help the agriculture community, but it, it brings in, you know, just a different kind of clientele, help support, plus the way you support the sale after the sale. It's just good business. So how would a dealership maybe become part of the program or can can they become part of the program? Yeah, you bet. So so um, it, it's really a pretty simple process. You you give us a call, and and it's amazing, uh, especially now that dealers have inventory again, because we we've gone through a stretch here, Scott, where Whoa. where yeah, we all know if you needed a truck, good luck. Uh, yeah. it was it was harder finding the truck than it was finding the friendly payment terms. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and 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 now we've got trucks on the lot again. In fact, a lot of these dealers have more trucks than they know what to do with, so they're calling. And they're saying we could really use some help finding homes for these trucks. Uh, and they're looking to agriculture for that help because they know agriculture buys a lot of trucks. And, and they do. Again, we can look at, at the data. And, you know, the, the data we have is that the average farmer ranch in this country has three trucks. 45.7% of farmers and ranchers uh, replace at least one of those trucks annually, according to the research. I will share this. This is really interesting. Of all the farmers and ranchers that are getting their ag pack ID numbers, I think we're at ninety one percent have said we buy at least one truck a year. Okay. Uh, and and so no question, agriculture buys a lot of trucks. And we know sixty percent right. roughly are new trucks and forty percent of the trucks we'll buy in a year are are used trucks. So that that market is a huge market and and for the for the dealer that wants to take it seriously, this is the only option. And I'd like to think, you know, we, we kind of live our lives, and Peyton can speak to this too, we kind of live our lives like we've got 20 dogs nipping at our heels at our competitors. Even though there's nobody else that does agriculture, that keeps us fresh and it keeps us on the edge so that we know we're always doing the best we can for our agricultural brethren. Uh, in, exactly. in providing dealers that are, are agriculturally knowledgeable and that we're providing the value we want out of our truck. Peyton said it really, really well. She said, trucks are like tools for us. They're, they're like that hammer in the drawer. Exactly. It's the tool that we, it's the go-to tool. When exactly. we need something done, what tool do we grab? We grab the hammer or the keys to the truck. Yeah, and and, that's, right. and that's the one that we use. And, and um, so we want to, but we've, Scott, I, you know, I can go spend a million and a half dollars on a combine and I can show you a return on that investment all day long. Spend 80 grand on a truck, can't show you a return on, on the investment. Unless I have ag pack, now I can show you a return on, on the right. investment. That's what That's we're trying right. to do with the program. All all in is, is continue to deliver that owner value and experience through this program. I, I love that. You know, I love the way you promote your dealerships and you promote the products and it, it just makes sense, you know, from that side of it to give your customers a better opportunity to be successful. And it's, it's, it's an easy deal, you know, so um, as far as the dealer, um, you know, and also as a customer, 
you know, to sign up with you. And like I say, I follow y'all, you know, and, and I love doing that. It's just an easy deal that you can trust. And, and like you say, it's really personal. Um, and, you know, we try and get out into the community and let folks know, too. And, and Peyton, in, in, in addition to being rodeo manager, we'd mentioned right up front, she's also the what we call the experiential marketing yeah. manager. Yeah, uh, which means uh, she's burning up a lot of miles on the road and and uh, and with the airlines. Peyton, why don't you touch a little bit on farm shows? I mean, we're we go to farm shows, we go to rodeos, we go all over yeah. the place. Let folks know. Um, definitely, here. once again, if you want to find out where we're going to be, go on to our website. We have an events page on there, both for the rodeo team and for our AgTech partners, and um, that has the rodeos that we will be exhibiting at, the rodeos that the rodeo team will be competing at. Um, we have the farm shows that we will be exhibiting with our AgPAC partners. And then we have a really special farm mm. show coming up here in September, which is at the um, Farm Science Review in London, Ohio. And Scott, that one is really cool. So we actually have what we call our AgPAC Partner Village, where we invite all of our AgPAC partners into our space. We have a huge footprint there. And actually, last year, we actually included a mother bin, one of the big grain bins that are our AgPAC partners. Um, and as Crystal likes to say, those things are one big mother. <laughs> so, so we still had plenty of room. We had um, several of our other AgPAC partners in there. So it's an opportunity where farmers and ranchers who are at the show, they can come and they can check out multiple AgPAC partners um, all in one space. And for me, it's really cool to see because it really shows in a real life example what that unity looks like. You know, you can see it all on paper when you see all the logos next to each other. But whenever you walk into that space and you see all of these different products lined up and you see all of the value that you get with AgPac, for those products, it's it's pretty remarkable. So what, what's that like, Peyton? Like when you're at that booth and you see all these different things because of AgPac, What's what's an experience like someone walks in? Can they believe they get all these deals, you know, with with AgPack? Yeah, it's or a little, it, is it hard for them? It's a little to bit different, um, very based on the customer. Some of them they have actually used AgPack already. They've already purchased a truck. They come in, they tell their testimonials about how amazing the process was, about how grateful they are, about how much money it saved them in real life dollars. And then of course it's a farm show, so you have a few of your grouchy farmers coming in there, and they're oh, this is too good to be true, and this isn't the real deal. And, you know, they take a few minutes and you get to have a conversation with them. And you get to, like I said, bring that authenticity and that genuineness to the table. And they get to see you're not BSing them, that we are the real deal. We are farmers and ranchers ourselves. We put together this package to benefit the ag community. And that's, that's the bottom line. And so once you kind of have those conversations yeah. and they see, then they go and, you know, almost instantly, they usually pull out their phone and register for their ag pack ID right then and there on the spot. So Awesome. Awesome. I've, I've even seen some, seen the, the Farm Science Review, Scott. I've even seen some folks walk in with the, what I call the Disney <laughs> effect. They walk in and, and they're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agricultural playground. Yeah, exactly. Uh, although I will say too, with with that mother bin in there last year, we had a lot of people going. There's a mother bin here. <laughs> <laughs> they had never seen one before. <laughs> so cool, so cool. Well, we're wrapping up the show. I can't believe the time is going so fast. Peyton, is there anything we left out that you'd like to talk about about um the certified no, ad group? Um, the only thing that I'll leave listeners with is it's not too good to be true. If you don't believe it, just try it. And if you can't remember anything else that we've said on here, remember the three easy steps. Register for your AgPAC ID. Purchase the truck through a certified ag dealer. Redeem your AgPAC options and save your money. So That's perfect, man. What a way to close. How about you, Pat? I, you know, I, it's hard to top that, and I don't want to take yeah. away from that message. There's just a couple of things I want to mention, and I'm also looking at my clock here. We're not going to make that 15-minute mark, but we're going to try no. and get it close, no. Scott. No. Uh, the, the first no. thing I want to mention is that we also are almost always running a sweepstakes, and we've actually got two sweepstakes going on right now. So when you do go to Ag Truck Trader or get your ag, get agpack.com, uh, any of those sites, you can register in those sweepstakes. Uh, the one that will wrap up at the end of September. Uh, is for a bedrock truck bed, uh, value of $5,000. 
Uh, the, the one that is on right now also that goes all the way up until March 4th will announce the winner at the next ag rally is for a Landmaster Pro, uh, I'm sorry, a Landmaster uh, L7 Pro uh, UTV, uh, which wow. is their, their high-end UTV, and you can register to win that as well. So that's the first thing that I'll share. Uh, and kind of right along the lines uh, with what Peyton was sharing in terms of uh, the value of this program and the believability of it, we, we talk about if you use all of the Ag Pack benefits uh, to their fullest value, you're going to save your farmer ranch upwards of $35,000. The, the reality is uh, not every farmer or rancher is going to use every benefit. So we've started using the real number. Uh, we looked at, at the folks that used ag pack last year and what the average savings was that they experienced fourteen thousand eight hundred twenty eight dollars it doesn't get more precise than that yeah. so of all the folks that went into ag pack last year you looked at all the things they redeemed the average was fourteen thousand eight twenty eight that's what Real i'll remember wow that's really good that's really good well, well, Pat, Peyton, thank you so much for being on the show and, and for being friends and for what you do for the agriculture industry. And uh, we really appreciate that. We're going to put all your social media up on the show. And and um, I just encourage everyone to follow y'all and, and follow um, Certified Ag Group and also follow the rodeo team. They're doing some great things out there and support those guys and shoot them some messages. Encourage them to the NFR. And uh, we appreciate y'all so much. And thank y'all very much for watching the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Thank you to all the great sponsors of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. If you or your business is interested in being a sponsor of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, please call our office at 830-992-1786 or visit our website, cowboyentrepreneur.com.